Baizai crossed to Tivit and became a role in the Genshin Impact. In reality, players can also manipulate him. Baizai can also gain popularity by being liked by players. The higher the popularity value, the stronger the panel. So, an extremely rebellious and beloved 5. star character by countless players was born. Players, what are the seven gods? Can they actually compare to us, Baizai? Tell the seven gods, I can't go back anymore. My mind is now full of Baizai. Baizis. Help me. At the beginning of chapter 1, get drunk with Wendy. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Brain Storage. Take it with you, it's not my fault for being eaten by zombies. Here comes the chicken soup drink it. Give it all to me, I'm off the charts. I only fired 10 shots in a row and paid 6 gold, so I wouldn't have been hit and killed by a large truck, right? You know, I didn't even go out that day, and my house lived on the 16th floor. Hey! Baize sat alone under the statue of the seven heavenly gods at Sunset Lake, watching the wind crystal butterfly dance around at night, leaving behind shining spots of light wherever it flew. He has been on the Tivit continent for a week now. A week ago, a new card pool was just released and a new character was also just released. I saw my favorite yellow bean sister come out. So, Baize could no longer hold back his restless heart. After ten consecutive rounds, six yellow bean sisters were sent to the Tivit continent by a truck driver. As soon as I opened my eyes, I saw several furry Chiochio people spinning and jumping around him with sticks, excitedly muttering Chiochio language that he didn't understand. Fortunately, Miss Amber, the scout knight of our knights, met him. Otherwise. I'm afraid as soon as he wears it back, it's gone again. After Amber brought Baize to Mon City, he passed through Kaya for another week and coincidentally encountered 30 observations. Finally, he overcame suspicion and allowed him to temporarily stay. During this week, Baize didn't have any free time either. While doing tasks, he searched everywhere for yellow-haired travelers and emergency food with white hair around him. But no one has seen these two people, nor do they know who they are. It is obvious that they have not yet arrived in Mond, so Baize knew that the plot had not yet begun. In the afternoon, he went to the Seven Heavens Divine Statue every day, hoping to obtain a divine eye, so that he could at least have the ability to protect himself. However, a week had passed and there was still no response, even the minstrel who was singing could not be found. But he still didn't give up, so tonight, he brought a bottle of dandelion wine that he had worked hard for a week to come under the Seven Heavens God statue. I wanted to see if I could lure Wendy out, but obviously, there was still no movement. This made him feel a bit melancholy, even if he didn't have the Eye of God, he wouldn't have activated his system. I finally came to this wonderful world, is it difficult? Do I really want to live an ordinary life? Baize opened the dandelion wine, poured it into a glass, and got drunk alone. Tonight, he wants to numb himself with alcohol, start living a good life tomorrow, and think about other ways to acquire abilities. If it's really not possible, he will refine his body. Hey, this young man is drinking alone, isn't it a bit lonely? Do you want me to accompany you? By the way, I can also sing a few poems for you. After drinking a glass of wine, a faint breeze suddenly blew up beside Baize. A young man dressed in green and white appeared in his field of vision with a smile. Without hesitation, he sat beside him, staring intently at the dandelion wine next to his shirakawa. Okay, drinking alone is indeed a bit lonely for me. Seeing Wendy suddenly appear by his side, Baize was somewhat surprised, but in just a few seconds, he calmed down his emotions again. Because he knew that even if Wendy appeared by his side, it was impossible to give him a divine eye directly. Anyway, I figured it out myself. If it doesn't work out, I'll really practice my body. Wendy looked at Baize so calm, with a hint of surprise in her eyes. Because he knew that Baize had been coming under the Seven Heavens God statue this week with the aim of obtaining the Eye of God. 
And he also guessed that Baizai was not from this world, and knew that Baizai must know his identity. But seeing him so calm now suddenly made him feel a little puzzled. I don't know what happened to Baizai, but suddenly, it felt like I was relieved that I couldn't obtain the eye of God. Hey, I can't drink your wine for free either. Let me sing a song for you first. Wendy looked at the cup, rolled her eyes, and then took out the piano next to him to play. Undoubtedly Wendy, the piece played is just different. Baize felt a warm wind blowing on him. It was as if his mother's hand was soothing him, making all the previously uncomfortable emotions disappear. After playing a piece of music, Baize applauded with a smile on his face and said, It's really a great piece of music, Mr. Wendy. By the way, my name is Baize, and you can call me A's. Don't call me Xiao Bai, thank you. Hey hey all right A's, can I drink this delicious dandelion wine with you now? Wendy didn't ask why Baize knew his name, but eagerly looked at the bottle of dandelion wine beside him. Ha ha ha, of course. Baize smiled heartily and poured the dandelion wine into another glass, handing it to him. I also filled my glass, clinked my glass with Wendy, and drank heavily. After a few drinks, Wendy's face turned red and her eyes became a bit hazy. A's, although I know this sentence shouldn't be said, I still want to tell you. Sometimes, when you are desperately trying to get something, he just can't get it. And when you don't want to get this thing, it suddenly appears by your side. You should completely relax, maybe tomorrow you'll get what you want. Baize looked at Wendy, who was drunk, and said such serious words, shaking his head with some amusement. Thank you very much, Wendy. Come on, keep drinking, keep drinking. I don't want so much today. After speaking, he continued to fill the glasses of the two and continued to drink heavily. After drinking the last glass of wine, Baize passed out drunk and fell asleep on the grass. Hey, you're such an interesting person, Wendy watched as Baize collapsed and wrapped Siyun in a layer of warm air to prevent him from catching a cold. Then it turned into a blue wind and disappeared. Is it already morning? A dazzling light shone on Baize's face, and he sat up in confusion. It's unbelievable that I didn't catch a cold. This should be Wendy's masterpiece, right? Baize felt his body warm and without any drunkenness. Looking at Wendy's absence beside him, I immediately understood that she must have done something to him. Ding! Detected that the Traveler will meet Pai Meng and will soon enter the storyline system activation, the system is loading, please wait patiently for 10 seconds for the host. Chapter 2 The Beginning of the Plot You are listening at NovelFull.audio System Activated, System I'm here. Baize sat in the same spot, feeling a bit confused. He didn't expect to just drink a bottle of wine with Wendy. The next day when I woke up, the system was actually activated. Why did you only activate the system now? Baize was somewhat puzzled. The system answered with a cold electronic tone, when the plot is about to start, it will automatically start. No wonder. It turns out that the system can only be activated when the plot starts. No, if I travel early and the plot hasn't started yet, will it wait for me to die of old age? Will you still not be able to start? The system fell silent for a moment, yes. Okay, okay, you're amazing, Baize smiled and applauded. Thank you very much for your praise. Listening to the shameless cold electronic sound of the system, Baize remained silent, unsure of what to say. At this moment, he can only remain silent after a long time, Baizakai inquired about the system's functions. After a systematic introduction, Baize also knew that he was now a character in the Ginchin Impact, and he could create his own panel. Afterwards, one can also gain popularity through people's love for him in reality, and then use these popularity values to create stronger power. Oh, I understand when you say that. Simply put, it makes everyone crazy about me. I don't know why, it feels a bit strange. At the thought of someone getting mad at him, Baize's face showed a twisted expression. 
Forget it, I don't want to, let's start creating. After speaking, Baize entered a pitch black space. Be good. You even messed up a small black room for me. Let me be healthy, first of all, set my appearance. There's no need to change the face, it's already the most beloved look for all readers. A man appeared on the panel, dressed in a black dress with golden embellishments, with a sturdy figure and long golden hair. The protagonist's character design is shown in the section review. Look at the section review. Look at the section review. Name. Baize, four-star character. God's name. Weapon. Magic slash dot. General attack. What to do, causing random element damage, voice. What kind of element should I use to deal you? Elemental warfare skill. Destiny covenant, increase teammates movement speed by 30%, designate a character to increase absolute critical strike by 1, and add a shield that cannot be broken 3 times, even a bleeding dog cannot break it, voice. Friend, give it a boost, elemental explosion. Listen to my summoning group range damage, random attributes a voice. This is a thrilling random attack. Mingzwa. My friend, do you feel cold? Are you hungry? Then come find me and I'll take you to barbecue and have a delicious meal. MMM not bad, let's leave it at that for now. We'll continue to add more after the popularity increases. Baize looked at his current panel and felt that it would definitely bring great surprises to the players, and he might even be called the six-star god of war. Host detected, basic settings completed. Are you sure you want to confirm the current settings? Confirm. After setting up the settings, Baize returned to the bottom of the seven heavenly god statue. The current plot is about to begin, players will enter the game in one hour, please prepare the host. Upon hearing this, Baize nodded and then ran towards the city of Mond. Aze, where did you go yesterday? Why did you only come back now? Aren't you afraid of being captured and eaten by the Chiochio people? On the way back to Mond, Baize met Amber. She circled around Baize as if to see if Siyun was injured. Ah, yesterday I went to the Seven Heavens statue and had a drink with friends. I only woke up now and haven't encountered any danger. After several inquiries, it was found that Zian really did not encounter any danger, so Amber stopped asking further. Baize waved at Amber and then continued walking towards Mon City. It's really strange. Even though I didn't have any strength yesterday, why suddenly today seems unfathomable. Wendy transformed into a wind crystal butterfly and looked at Zian in the sky, feeling somewhat puzzled. But before he could think much, he felt the scent of Tevelin and immediately flew towards that direction. Baize returned to Mon City, had a good meal, filled his stomach, and warmed up, sitting on a bench sunbathing. Ginchin Impact Number 1 Group Chat, I want Wendy to take off. Brothers. The game is starting. You can open the door and enter. I am Emperor O. What? It's open. Isn't it still an hour left? It's surprising that the server was opened early. Flame. Spitfire. Good guy. Fortunately, someone told me in advance, otherwise I would have been foolish enough to wait until 10 o'clock before entering. At the same time, other groups also received the news that the game had opened an hour earlier, so a group of people rushed into the game crazily. Oh, A's is really good-tempered. Why didn't he make a commission today, instead he lazily lay here sunbathing. The big brother Ningbing, wearing an eye mask, quietly walked over to Baize's side and flipped the coin in his hand. Captain Kaya has a good temper. He doesn't patrol and just looks at me every day. What's the point? I'm not a bad person. Baize doesn't even need to look. Just listen to this voice and know it's Kaya. Oh my, you still caught me. There's nothing I can do, after all, Mon City has been unstable lately. I always have to pay more attention to the strangers who come to Mon City, right? Kaya, who was exposed by Baize, 
showed no signs of shyness at all. Instead, she sat beside Baizé casually and said with a smile. Baizé looked at Kaya and raised an eyebrow. I'm truly Captain Kaya. If it were me, I would have been shy a long time ago. Ha ha ha, don't worry, I won't be monitoring you again in the future. I've been observing you for a week now, and you're definitely not someone who's detrimental to Mon City. I hope you can forgive me for any offense this week. I'll treat you to a drink tonight. Kaya smiled and looked at Baize. Okay, since it's Captain Kaya's invitation, I can't refuse either, let alone I don't think there's anything inappropriate. Zian patted Kaya's shoulder and shook his head with a smile, indicating that he didn't care. Ha ha ha, then I can rest assured. Boom. Just as Kaya was laughing and wanting to chat with Baize, the sky above Godmond suddenly became shrouded in dark clouds, and the entire city of Mond seemed to be submerged in darkness, with countless thunderbolts flashing in the sky. At the same time, a huge strong wind blew up, making it difficult for ordinary people to stand still, as if they were about to be swept away at any moment. A's, hurry up and find a safe place to take refuge. Kaya looked at the sky with a serious expression, patted Zian's shoulder, and then ran towards the distance to gather people, evacuate the crowd, and escort them all to a safe place. Baize looked at the sky with a calm expression, quietly waiting for the arrival of Tevelin with one hand on his back. Chapter 3 Handsome and Irresistible You are listening at NovelFull.audio The plot has begun, and the host has officially entered the plot. Please control the time of the appearance yourself, has it started yet? Baize ran to the top of the tower, holding his hands and watching the crowd below. Ha! Huh. Why did Mon City suddenly become so strange? Could it be that we are not welcomed? Pai Meng and Ning were just brought into Mon City by Amber when they saw this terrifying scene. Pai Meng covered his mouth with both hands, and an incredulous expression appeared in his eyes. Ng on the side also felt the same way, otherwise how could they suddenly transform into this appearance when they stepped into Mond? However, before Ng could react, she was swept into the sky by a strong hurricane. Ng flapped her limbs in the air with a panicked face, because she didn't have much strength now. If she fell to the ground, she would not be disabled and half of her life would be gone. Yo ho it's getting windy, in Ying's ear, she suddenly heard a playful sound, and then she found herself swept up by the wind, able to freely dance in the air. Roar! A pair of crimson eyes peeked out from the pitch black sky, making people tremble uncontrollably upon seeing them. A strong storm dispersed the dark clouds in the air, revealing a massive wind demon dragon. Ng looked at the wind demon dragon in a panic, but when she heard Wendy's voice in her ear, she also calmed down and attacked the wind demon dragon according to Wendy's operation. On the other hand, the real world of parallel universes. A popular female anchor wearing Athena COS clothes also opened the live broadcast view and watched the plot of Genshin Impact. When she saw Ng being swept into the sky by a wind demon dragon, she immediately became anxious. In my heart, I am constantly muttering to the wind god, come and save Ng quickly. And when the wind god appeared and enveloped Ng with power, allowing her to follow and deal with the wind demon dragon, she finally relaxed. The wind god has arrived, so now this dangerous situation is stable. Subsequently, Ng attacked the wind demon dragon with Wendy's help, and the attack also played a significant role. Just as Wendy said, give the wind demon dragon the final blow. The wind demon dragon suddenly turned around and roared at Ng. Then, a powerful wind element condensed from its mouth and roared towards Ng. For a moment, not only did it panic, but even Wendy was stunned for a moment, because he didn't expect that Twalin would even attack in the opposite direction. However, just as he realized it, everything seemed too late, and the attack distance was already within a few meters. Ng looked at the wind element bullet in front of her, her mind blank. Although she had just started her journey to find her brother, was it about to end? She closed her eyes in despair, longing so much that her brother could come and save her at this moment. 
Kaya and the captain of the piano team below, upon seeing this scene, their minds were completely blank. I was originally watching the traveler in the air, constantly suppressing the wind demon dragon, just as I was about to defeat it. The result was a reversal, but they had nothing to help Ng. Dang, at this moment, Ng suddenly appeared on her body with a pale golden shield, which directly eliminated the attack of the wind demon dragon. And Ng found that her speed seemed to have increased now, and there was a power that could destroy the world with just one strike. So she gathered the strength in her hand and rushed towards the wind demon dragon. At this moment, he directly repelled the wind demon dragon without looking back, and quickly fled Mon City. After the wind demon dragon left, the sky in Mon City also returned to its original state, and Ng was sent to the ground by Wendy. Wendy smiled and glanced at Baize, then her style disappeared. Chin and the others all breathed a sigh of relief when they saw the wind demon dragon being repelled, and then ran to Ying's side to ask if there was anything wrong. As for the shield on Ying's body in the final blow, they felt that it must be Ying's own ability. Ying. Ying. Are you okay? You worried me so much, but your last blow was really handsome. Pai Meng leaned over to Ying and rubbed her face with her small face, looking at her eyes with fear. Ng looked at Pai Meng with a caring gaze, smiled, shook her head, pinched her little face, and said she was okay. Bai Zhe stood on the high tower and, after snapping his fingers, embraced Ng with both hands, quietly watching her movements. As expected, Ng did not disappoint him. Subsequently, he jumped down from a high place and left everyone's sight. He doesn't want to participate. In the moment Ng becomes an honorary knight, he just needs to wait a moment and follow along to clear the temples in all directions. And his current operation must have made those real players dumbfounded. As expected. In the real world, every live streaming platform and different software communities are all stunned by Baize's skillful operation. Shocking their scalp. Ah. Who is the handsome guy who just appeared? Why did he just snap his finger and the screen becomes so strong? The female anchor of Cas Athena, with her mouth wide open and her eyes wide open, pointed at the screen with an incredulous expression on her face. The audience in the live broadcast room also appeared very confused. Damn it, this plot is not right. According to the original plot, shouldn't it be easy to just solve the wind demon dragon? How could anyone else interfere? Yeah, and where does this character come from? Why hasn't the official released any news about him? Cough cough, brothers, haven't you noticed that the little brother who just appeared was very noble and handsome? I just loved him whole, okay. There's something wrong with you upstairs, aren't you a man? That's true, brother. You're too abnormal, right? But I also love you quite a bit. This man is really handsome in my heart. In just a few seconds of Baize's appearance, many people were directly trapped. Not only female players, but even those male players don't really dislike Baize because he is so handsome that people can't seem to dislike him. At this moment, Zhao Qingxue, the female anchor of Kas Yasina, finally reacted. Then he let out a scream, directly causing the ears of the audience in the live broadcast room to be devastated. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How could there be such a handsome character? But who is that character? Do any brothers know about it? Please let me know if anyone knows. Audiences. I don't know either. The official hasn't provided any information about this character. Good brothers, don't you think this character will definitely enter the character pool? Think about it. He's just so strong with just a snap of his finger. If we really get started, how terrifying this character would be. That's true, I'm also quite curious now. Is this character for dot star or five dot star? Chapter 4 The world is big and strange. You are listening at novel full dot audio. The intensity party in the live broadcast room has also begun to pay attention to all the news about Bayes. They want to know whether Baze is a 4-dot star or a 5-dot star, 
and how incredible his strength is. Those who want to know the news, hurry up and go to the Miyu Society. Miyu Society has released information about that character just now. Upon seeing this barrage, Zhao Qingxue couldn't wait, holding her nearby phone and logging into the software to watch the released character information. When she clicked into this portrait, her whole body showed a silly smile. I saw a man with long golden hair and a suit, holding a book and leaning against the windowsill. The golden sunlight shone on his profile, making him look so noble. God of God. Destiny Seat. Friend, do you feel cold? Are you hungry? Then come find me and I'll take you to barbecue and have a delicious meal. After reading the vertical paintings and simple settings, Zhao Qingxue felt a bit confused because not only was the seat of destiny a question mark, but even the eye of God a question mark. Of course, she was not sure whether it was the eye of God or the heart of God, after all, there was a question mark behind the eye of God. She quickly flipped down, opened the comment section, and then looked at what was going on normally. My wife Eula said, ah ah ah. My husband is so handsome. I love him so much. When will he leave the card pool, I will take him home. I love Lord Wendy. Isn't it that no one is paying attention to this new character's destiny and divine eye? Why are they all question marks? What exactly does this mean? It's really difficult to come ten times a night, I'm not sure. But this may be a smoke bomb released by the official, the purpose is to make us curious about the charm of this character. Do you want to try my cuisine? Don't worry about this, just know that this character is very handsome. I, as a big man, can't help but want to spank him and take him home. Oh, is it difficult ten times? That's true. Look at this brother's common language, it's so warm. He really treats us like his own people. Brother Bays, I'm cold and I'm hungry. I won't say much, just use my name. My brother Bays will definitely join me for dinner and barbecue. You guys line up behind me. Zhao Qingxue looked at the comments below with a somewhat bewildered expression. She is currently unable to control her emotions, and indeed, gender should not be stuck too tightly on the internet. She quickly exited the software and returned to the live broadcast room. However, when she saw these barrage comments in the live broadcast room, she was completely numb. I never expected that just a short prelude would show her how terrifying her audience really is. Oh, did you start leaving so soon? So, I should also be prepared to have a chance encounter with them. Bai Zai saw the scattered figures of Ng and her companions outside the city of Mond, and quietly followed behind them. Then he took a big circle and quickly walked to the temple, standing quietly in place, letting others see him as if he was thinking about something. Eh. Ing, hurry up and look, there's a person ahead. Pai Mengfei was by Ying's side. After seeing Bai Zai, he immediately stopped and pointed to the distance with his finger. Wait, that figure is. Bai Zai. Upon seeing the familiar figure, Amber immediately reacted and placed his hands on his lips, shouting at Bai Zai in the distance. Upon hearing Amber's voice, Bai Zai also turned from pretending to watch the temple and face them. Okay. So handsome. After seeing Bai Zai, Ying's pupils contracted slightly and she covered the cherry's small mouth with her left hand. I don't know why, but she always felt a familiar feeling on Bai Zai, as if he had saved her. Hey Amber, why are you here? And these two are. As expected, Bai Zili pretended not to know Ng and Pai Meng, while also greeting Amber. Ah, this is Pai Meng, this is Ng, and the two of them are here to help us clear the power of the wind demon dragon together. Oh by the way, Pai Meng and Ng can introduce you to Bai Zai, my good friend. Amber introduced the three of them to each other. Oh, so you're Amber's friend, Bai Zai Bai Zai. Can I call you Xiao Bai? Pai Meng flew to Bai Zai's side and circled around him a few times. He felt a very comfortable breath on him and looked at him with a smile. Not good, you white-haired flying dwarf fruit, 
you can call me A's, don't call me Xiao Bai. Bai Ze pinched Pai Meng's face with both hands and kept pulling. I'm not flying with white hair and falling fruit on the short sun. And don't pull my face, it will. It hurts. Pai Meng broke free from Bai Ze's hands and hid behind Ing, covering her face. Bai Ze shrugged nonchalantly and said, Okay, as long as you don't call me Xiao Bai, I won't call you that title either. You. Pai Meng stomped his feet in anger. Alright, don't make any fuss with Bai Ze, it's only the first time you've met. At this moment, Ing couldn't bear to watch any more and rubbed Pai Meng's hair to calm her down. By the way, A's, you haven't said what you're doing here yet. Amber looked at Bai Zhe with some confusion. Ah, I have received a commission to inquire about these temples. Why, are you also here to entrust? Bai Zhe deliberately gave a reason to deal with Amber. That's not true. We came here, so, 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 so. Do you understand? Amber described their mission to Bayes in extremely simple words. Oh, I see. I see. So, 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 if you don't think it's troublesome, I can come in with you and just complete my commission. Bai Zhe stood in the sunlight, looking at them with a smile on his face. The three of them were stunned when they saw Bai Zhe's healing smile, and then agreed directly. Later, Amber gave a few more orders, explained the purpose of these temples to Pai Mang and the others, and then went straight in. Wow, there are so many people from Chiu Chiu. Ing, hurry up and solve them. After several people entered the temple together, they opened a door and saw many people from the hills behind them. Pai Meng immediately exclaimed in surprise. Bai Zhe, hurry up and hide with Pai Meng. After we finish dealing with these Chiu Chiu people, you can come out again. Amber immediately pushed Bai Zhe and asked him and Pai Meng to hide in a nearby corner, then he and Ingda fought in all directions. In a few moments, these Chiu Chiu people were all eliminated by An Bai and Ing. Afterwards, Amber was like an NPC guide, constantly guiding on the screen, step by step, until the end. Chapter 5 Is it in this river? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ha huh, it's finally resolved, so let's continue moving forward. We should walk a little longer and we'll be there. After dealing with all the Chiu Chiu people, Amber wiped his forehead. Keep up. Keep up. We're almost there. Amber excitedly waved his hands in front of him. Ha huh, you're really some despicable bad guys, A's. You haven't been scared, have you? If you're scared, then speak up and I'll comfort you. Pai Meng flew up to Bai Zhe with one hand on his waist and patted his chest with a very tough expression, saying. Bai Zhe looked at Pai Meng with a smile on his face and said, It's a pity. I wasn't scared but I just saw someone trembling and hiding behind me, not daring to move. I, 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 I. I didn't have it. Pai Meng stomped his feet in the air in anger. All right, all right, stop making trouble. This is not a safe place, let's go quickly. Amber looked at Pai Mon and Bai Zhe, who were arguing like children and shook their heads helplessly. Ah. Just as Amber was urging Bai Zhe and the others to move forward, three fire abyss mages suddenly appeared and blocked in front of them. Why did a few red monsters suddenly appear again? Upon seeing it, Pai Meng shrank behind the screen in fear. Amber and Ng looked at these fire abyss mages, their faces also becoming solemn. Because Amber can't break the shield at all. Moreover, Ing alone has no choice but to deal with three fire abyss mages at once. Bai Zhe looked at these three and suddenly saw the fire abyss mage, raising his eyebrows. Unexpectedly, something unexpected happened. A's, you and Pai Meng, hurry up and leave first. We'll cover you up. 
Amber quietly approached Bai Zai and gave him a glance, then he quickly left with Pai Meng. Bai Zai looked at Amber and shook his head with a smile, no need, let me handle it next. Upon hearing Bai Zai's words, Ying and Pai Meng also turned their heads to look at him. Because they didn't see any divine eyes on Bai Zai's body, they looked like ordinary people. How could they possibly deal with these three fire abyss mages? And Amber also felt that Bai Zai was showing off, after all, she had saved Bai Zai who was surrounded by a few Chiu people at that time. Otherwise, Bai Zai would have been dragged away by the master of the Hall of Reincarnation. Looking at the skeptical eyes of Amber and the others, Bai Zai just smiled. A gust of wind wrapped around Shirazawa, lifting her golden long hair. Three fire abyss mages looked at the wind element generated by Bai Zai's side, exchanged a glance, and quickly used the fire element to wrap around them. In an instant, Amber and the others felt the surrounding air becoming particularly hot. However, these three abyss mages also have some confusion as to why Bai Zai, without the eye of God, can still use the wind element. But after all, they thought that Bai Zai only had the element of wind, and it was impossible to deal with them. So the three of them suddenly condensed the fire element together and rushed towards Bai Zai with a surge. Ah Zai! Be careful! Amber and the others immediately shouted loudly when they saw it. Bai Zai just smiled. Because what surprised everyone even more was still behind, Bai Zai's side suddenly entwined with water and thunder elements. The elements of water and thunder, accompanied by the wind around Shirazawa, spiraled into a huge tornado and quickly swept towards the fire elements in front of them. In just a few seconds, these three fire abyss mages, the condensed fire elements, directly integrated into the tornado condensed by bays. And the tornado had not stopped yet, continuing to fly towards these three fire abyss mages with even more fierce momentum. Directly swept these three fire abyss mages into the tornado, but in just a few seconds, they didn't react to resist and evaporated directly. Hu, Bai Zai patted his hands, blew a breath, dispelled the tornado, and then turned around with a smile to look at the three people who were wide-eyed and stunned. A's, you. 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 How come you have such powerful power? And why can't you use so many elements without the eye of God? Amber kept circling around Bayes, wanting to know what was going on. Well, that's a good question, but it's too complicated to explain. Let's talk about it when we have time in the future. We should leave here now. After speaking, Bai Zai ignored the reaction of Ng and the others and walked forward without looking back. He did this to give Ng and her a mysterious feeling. More importantly, it is to give people in reality a feeling of having a special identity. Watching Bai Zai walk forward without paying attention to the three of them, Hing, had no choice but to follow in his footsteps and continue moving forward. However, they still whispered behind Bai Zai, constantly exploring his identity. Zhao Qingxue, who watched this in the real world, and the audience in her live broadcast room were all very surprised. Because the plot they saw was different from the original one, there was a significant deviation. In the original plot, there was no involvement of the character Shirazawa, but now not only did he intervene, but he also encountered an unexpected fire abyss mage. But what surprised them the most was that Bai Zai could manipulate several elements at the same time. Zhao Qingxue. Isn't that right, brothers? Is this character so terrifying? Not only can he be an assistant, but he can also be AC. Is it possible that this character is a demon god? I love to eat white ice cream. Don't say the anchor is confused, even I am also confused. How could there be such an outrageous character? We can't wait for him to come out and explode directly. The end of the fire element has arrived. Do you think this character is the official biological son? After all, it has been hidden for so long, but it was released right after the beta test, which is completely different from the original plot. And as far as I know, there don't seem to be many people in Tibet who can use many elements at the same time. Moreover, he doesn't even have the eye of God. If you like to eat, eat more. 
Whatever, the stronger my husband is, the better. I will always be A's dog. Everyone is discussing the news of Bai Zhe in Zhao Qingxue's live broadcast room. Bai Zhe and the others have arrived at the last location of the temple. After solving the remaining issues, Bai's left the temple with Amber and the others. After leaving the temple, Ying and her companions asked Bai Zhe if they wanted to go with them to the remaining temple. Bai Zhe said he has something to do temporarily and can't get away from it. If he has time later, maybe they will meet again. Upon hearing Bai Zhe's words, Ying and Pai Meng nodded and then left separately. How do you feel that something is wrong in Chapter 6? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. That's too much. A's, that guy didn't come over, causing us to wait for him for so long. Pai Meng lay on Ying's shoulder in a fit of anger. A's must have something to do, and besides, we have to wait for it ourselves. We can't blame him. When you meet A's, don't say anything to make him angry. Ying touched Pai Meng's head. Okay, I just complained a little bit, I'm not that foolish, Pai Meng touched his index fingers. Babados, since you're here, let's have a drink together. On the windy ground, Bai Zhe sat under the statue of the seven heavenly gods, holding up the dandelion wine he had bought nearby and looking up at the sky. As for where he got the money to buy these wines, I have to praise those kind-hearted people. The members of the treasure-stealing group knew that Bai Zhe had no money, so they took the initiative to pass by and stop him, providing him with a wave of resource supplies. Only then did they leave with a satisfied smile. Hey hey I knew you knew my identity, but you're such an interesting person. You just had such a strong power in one night, which really scared me. But this is your secret, I won't ask any more. I can sense that you have no ill intentions towards us. Moreover, even if there's good wine to drink, I can't dampen my mood. Wendy's transformed wind crystal butterfly slowly landed by Bai Zhe's side, transforming into a youthful appearance. Ha ha ha, you're the one who's really interesting. If it were just a few other gods, I wouldn't be like you, right? Bai Zhe looked at Wendy and laughed heartily. As expected, Babados can be considered the best god to get along with. He also has no intention of explaining anything to Wendy, as it is indeed difficult to explain the source of his power. Open the dandelion wine, pour it into a glass and hand it to Wendy. The two exchanged a smile, clinked their glasses, and everything remained silent. Is it really good that you don't go and act with them? After drinking a few glasses of wine, Bai Zhe watched as the moon in the sky was obscured by clouds and mist. Wendy, with a gentle expression and a hint of blush, looked at her. Wendy waved her hand and said, It's okay, it's okay. Anyway, Twalin hasn't come out yet. It would be great to drink a little more. Although Bai Zhe knows the plot, he still wants to say, Babados, do something serious. But since Wendy is not in a hurry, he has no intention of rushing Wendy away. It wasn't until the two of them finished the pile of wine bought by Bai Zhe that Wendy looked up at the distance. Here we go. How is A's? Do you want to come together? Wendy stood up and looked at Bai Zhe, inviting him. Bai Zhe shook his head and thought he would intervene after they finished talking. You go first, I'll be there later, he said, okay, I'll take a step first. Wendy turned into a gust of wind and disappeared. Roar! A huge figure appeared in the air, flying at lightning speed, with occasional painful roars coming from its mouth. Looking at Tevelin's figure, Bai Zhe raised an eyebrow. What a poor guy, he was easily shot by the group of people in the abyss. When Bai Zhe could no longer see Tevelin's figure, he stood up and patted his pants. It also turned into a gust of wind and disappeared in place. Everyone, do you need my little help? Bai Zhe appeared not far behind Ying and her companions, looking at them with a warm sunshine and a smile like a small sun. A's. Why did you come? Kaya was a bit surprised when he saw Bai Zhe, because he didn't even sense anyone approaching. Bai Zhe appeared silently like this. 
Dilek's eyes also flashed with a hint of surprise, as he had been observing the surroundings and knew that there would definitely be other enemies appearing. But surprisingly, Baize appeared silently right under his nose, and Baize's danger continued to increase in his heart. He used to think that Baize was not easy, but now it seems that he guessed right and can't take anyone lightly. Watching Baize come, Wendy settled down and played the piano quietly, calming Twalin's emotions while also preparing him to purify Twalin and restore it to normal. Ah! Just as Wendy and Ng were focused on dealing with Tevelin, several abyss mages suddenly appeared, laughing mockingly and attacking Tevelin directly. Several black and red mist poured into Tevelin's body. Causing Tevelin to become manic, the two claws in front fiercely grabbed at the crowd. You guys are really noisy. Baize looked at the several abyssal mages, gently waving his left hand as elements rushed towards them one by one. Instantly turn them into ashes and merge with the air. Everyone who saw this scene widened their eyes, feeling incredulous. Especially Kaya and Dilek, both of them showed puzzled expressions. They all thought it would take some time to solve their opponent, but Baize was able to instantly kill them. And they didn't even react. But this is not the time to think about these things, because Tevelin's claws are almost approaching them. Everyone, quickly leave its attack range. Just as they urged everyone to leave their place quickly, Baize looked at them with a smile on his face. Friends, with me around, there's no need to panic. After speaking, Baize elegantly snapped his fingers, and a huge golden shield appeared above everyone, enveloping them all. Tulin's attack was easily cracked by Baize. Looking at the shield that appeared in front of him, Twalin's eyes turned red and his breath became even more furious. Attack after attack, but to no avail. You should calm down now. Baize slowly took a few steps forward, passing through the shield and directly into Tuvalin's eyes. Subsequently, countless elements surged up from Baize's body, roaring towards Tuvalin. Boom! Only a loud bang was heard, and Twalin's eyes regained their original expression but his body was left with countless wounds, looking disheveled. Twalin flew cautiously in the air without making any sound, as if a child had done something bad, afraid of offending adults. Be good, it's not your fault. I won't attack you again. Baize removed the pale gold shield and walked up to Tulin, gently stroking its head with his hand. After a flash of light, all the wounds on Tevelin's body disappeared, as if nothing had happened. Tuvalin felt his body become comfortable and relaxed, and also let go of his anxious heart. Wendy, standing beside him, watched the interaction between Baize and Twalin, lost in thought. He always felt as if something was wrong. Who is the Wind God in Chapter 7? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Wendy thought, isn't he the God of Wind? How do you feel that the relationship between Baze and Twalin is better than his relationship with Twalin? Ng and others on the side all looked at Baize with shocked faces. They really didn't expect Baize to be so strong. Just the moment they were eliminated, the methods of those abyssal mages were not something that ordinary people could achieve. They saw it with their own eyes, and in an instant, Baize used countless elements without producing an explosion. The fusion of those elements was still very harmonious. Just this, they won't be able to learn in their lifetime. Afterwards, Baize created a huge shield out of thin air, blocking their airspace and allowing Tulin to attack no matter what. Afterwards, they directly treated Tulin like ants, instantly solving the crisis they couldn't solve. After beating Tevelin all over his body, he managed to cure it in an instant. Who is this for? Who wouldn't be surprised? It's really terrifying that one person can both output and assist. Ng and her companions looked at Wendy, as well as at Baize, who had a particularly harmonious relationship with Tevelin. The corners of my mouth twitched slightly, who the wind god is. If it weren't for Wendy informing them that he was the wind god, they would definitely have thought that Baize was the true wind god in the first place. Cough. Thank you for A's help. 
I was originally thinking of taking action, but ahem I took a step slower. Wendy looked at the scene awkwardly and smiled as she explained to everyone. Since everything has been resolved, Aze and I still have something to say. Let's leave for now. After finishing speaking, Wendy picked up the white mist with the wind, sat on Tevlin, patted Tevlin, and prepared to leave. However, Twalin did not react at all. Instead, he glanced at Baize as if waiting for him to give instructions. Let's go, Baize shook his head amused as he looked at Tevlin's cautious expression after receiving a response from Baze, Twalin flapped his wings. Wendy's eyes twitched as she saw this scene, as if she was wearing a mask of pain. Fortunately, they were in the high altitude, and no one else except Baze saw them. This is really unbelievable. Until Baize and his companions could no longer be seen, Kaya finally came to her senses and silently said something. He felt that his week was really a waste of observation. Even though Baize was so strong, he actually thought he was just an ordinary person. Is it difficult for one's observation ability to decline? For a moment, Kaya began to doubt herself. Dilek also had the same reaction as Kaya. When Baize came to Mond, he secretly observed Baize's every move. After observing for a few days and discovering that Baize was just an ordinary person, he stopped observing anymore. He knew that Kaya was still watching and nothing would happen. As a result, everything Baize did today directly overturned his entire understanding of Baize. All right, let's go too. There are still things to solve when we go back. Chin clapped her hands to bring everyone back to their senses, and then led them away from their original place and back to the city of Mond. On the way, everyone remained silent, without exception, all thinking about Baize. What a terrifying person, I can't even see through how powerful his strength is. After everyone left, Kong appeared at the place where they had left. He frowned tightly, looking at the traces left around him, sensing the remaining power around him. After a long time, he slowly let out a sigh. He doesn't know where Baize came from, how strong he is, or what his purpose is. But if Baize really hinders them, so he can only try to cooperate with Baize or reach an agreement. He doesn't want everything he has done for so long to become a foam. Baize and Wendy were taken by Tulin to the ruins of the Wind Dragon, and the two jumped to the ground. By the way, why did you bring me here? Shouldn't this be your time alone with Twalin? Baize hugged her hands and looked at Wendy with some confusion. Hey hey I have something to ask you to do but I do have something to say to Tevelin. Even if you hear it, it's okay, it's not a particularly private matter anyway. Wendy scratched her head with a smile. Baize waved his hand and walked to the side, then please. Babados, why haven't you come to see me for so long? After seeing Baize walk aside, Tulin looked gloomy at Wendy with a playful smile in front of him. I, didn't I have something to delay? Wendy's expression was a bit awkward, and her eyes drifted back and forth, looking particularly guilty. Okay, let's just take it this way. So what else are you looking for me for now? Twalin looked at Wendy's guilty expression and knew he was lying, but he was too lazy to argue with the problem. Tevelin, after so many years, you should be free now. Now you can fly freely. Wendy's face was rarely serious, and she looked particularly serious. A gust of green wind wrapped around him and Twalin. You. After a moment, Twalin's pupils shrank slightly, and he looked at Wendy with some disbelief. I said Tevlin, you're free now. From now on, you don't have to worry about the shackles on your body anymore, fly freely. Wendy looked at Twalin with a smile. Twalin watched Wendy remain silent for a long time, and finally nodded. All right A's, the matter between me and Tevelin has been resolved. Next, I would like to request your help. After seeing Twalin nod, Wendy smiled and then waved to Baize beside her. Tell me, if something is too complicated, don't blame me for not helping. Baize hugged her hands and looked at Wendy calmly. It's like this. 
I made an agreement with someone that I want them to take away my divine heart. But because of your appearance, I feel that something unexpected might happen. If I were performing tomorrow and you accidentally intervened and interrupted our original plan, it would be a bit. Um. You understand. So I think, if possible tomorrow, you don't need to take action, or you don't need to show up. How about I treat you to a few more drinks after things are finished? Wendy looked at Baize with a playful smile on her face. Upon hearing this, Baize raised his eyebrows. What Wendy was just about to say was probably acting, right? He thought Wendy had something to do, but that's why it turned out. Fortunately, Wendy said it, otherwise he might have really stopped the lady tomorrow and gone to make a fuss for Wendy, taking away his divine heart. How can I play without A's in Chapter 8? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Because Baize believes that if this is really the case, the plot will definitely make a big difference. At that time, people in the real world may also be extremely shocked. But Wendy has said that, so forget it. I can only start from other plots. Okay, I promise you, what are you going to do tomorrow? I won't show up. Who that's good, that's good, Wendy watched as Baize stood in silence for a long time without speaking, thinking that Baize would not agree. This also made him hesitate for a long time, thinking about what to do to make Baize agree to his request. But now that Baize has agreed, he doesn't need to think of any other conditions to make Baize agree. All right, it's getting late. I need to go back and rest first. Baize looked at the bright moon in the sky and stretched lazily. Mr. Bays, please wait a moment. Just as Bays was about to leave, Twalin stopped him. Upon hearing Twalin's shout, Baize tilted his head in confusion. What's wrong? Is there anything wrong? Mr. Baize, thank you for your help today, which helped me wake up from that state, and you also cured me without any past grievances. Although my strength is not strong, I still think that if Mr. Bayes needs help, I will be available at any time. So I wonder if Mr. Bayes can sign a contract with me. Tulin looked at Baize with utmost caution and respect. Upon hearing Tevelin's words, Baize touched his chin and pondered for a moment. I don't think there's anything wrong with him signing a contract with Tevelin. Perhaps it will bring him unexpected gains. Okay. So he looked straight into Twalin's eyes and nodded. Mr. Bays, I will establish a contract with you now. Twalin nodded in agreement when he saw Baize, excitedly stirring up his wings. Subsequently, a mini version, the imprint of the blue Twalin dragon head, appeared on the left hand back of Shirazawa. Subsequently, the imprint disappeared directly onto the back of Shirazawa's hand. Baize also sensed that a special relationship had been established between him and Tevelin. As long as he calls out to Tulin himself, he can know Baize's call no matter where he is, and go to his side at any time. And for oneself, there is no need to pay any price. Wendy stood by, looking at the contract signed between Tualin and Bazaar, her expression becoming extremely complicated. He always felt that something was not quite right, but he couldn't say what that feeling was. Good night everyone. Baize waved his hand at Tevelin and Wendy, then turned into a gust of green wind and disappeared from their sight. Tulin, oh, forget it, just be happy. Wendy looked at Baize who had left, then glanced at Tulin beside her and sighed. Later, he sat next to Tualin and told him about what had happened to him over the years. The real-world Zhao Qingxue looked bewildered as she watched Bai Zhe suddenly appear. In an instant, she killed the several abyssal mages and immediately built a huge shield in place, protecting everyone inside. It's not over yet, but Bai Zhe instantly obediently put on Tuolinji's clothes, and even walked forward with great warmth, touching its face to help it recover from its injuries. Zhao Qingxue Brothers I really like A's. I want to draw A's. What's A's appearing in the card pool? The audience in Zhao Qingxue's live broadcast room couldn't help but urge her to calm down and not be so excited as she let out piercing screams. Not excited. 
how could you not be excited? If it were anyone else, no one could calm down. Zhao Qingxue saw the barrage and someone was trying to persuade her to calm down. She waved her hand directly and said she didn't need to calm down. Rational. What is reason? It's not necessary. Guoba. Spitfire. Brothers, to be honest, I really love A's. I am A's dog. A strong and warm big brother, who doesn't like it. I am by Zay's dog. Some people say what they say, but it's useless. Unlike me, I prove through my actions that I am the most correct choice I have made. I love the fart slanting sword technique. Not my brothers. Although by Zay is so strong in the plot, don't you doubt that he will be weakened when he comes to the card pool. That's true, just like by Zay, I feel like he has already surpassed Bobatos, said the sword as it slashed through the mountains and rivers, didn't you just see Bobatos' bewildered gaze in the plot? That's true, I feel that by Zay's pussy is even higher than that of a Fengshen. Just look at Dilek and the other's eyes, you can tell that they all think by Zay is the wind god. After all, the relationship between Tevlin and Wendy is not as good as the relationship between Baze and Tevlin. After this plot, the players received a boss trial mission. Only after completing this task can we continue with the following plot. However, in the ending of this plot, there was no appearance of Shirazawa. This disappointed Zhao Qingxue and the audience in the live broadcast room. Isn't it, brothers? My A's didn't show up. I don't even want to fight anymore. And with my skills, when do I have to challenge this wind demon dragon's trial level? Zhao Qingxue watched the plot with bitter laughter. Ha ha ha, the anchor is not afraid, we believe in you. Yeah, it's okay. Even if you can't beat for five or six hours, we won't talk about your food. Watching these barrage comments, Zhao Qingxue's mouth twitched slightly, but she still followed the plot and went to the trial level of Tevelin. Because she felt that after passing the trial level, Baize would definitely appear again. So for the sake of Baize, she must complete the training level as soon as possible. Zhao Qingxue opened the team configuration and was somewhat disappointed when she found that there were no suitable characters inside. She originally had a lucky mentality, thinking that Baize would appear inside. But without Baize, this is a character training, and she wasn't discouraged because she had already had psychological expectations. Brothers, go ahead. Under the gaze of the audience in the live broadcast room, Zhao Qingxue selected the team configuration and clicked on start, and then began loading the screen. After entering the battle screen, a prompt popped up on the screen on how to defeat Tevlin. Oh, so that's it. It shouldn't be too difficult, right? Zhao Qingxue looked at the prompt, nodded, patted her hard chest, and said to the audience, see how she successfully passed the level. The barrage indicates, anchor, stop filming, stop filming, give the child some chance to survive. Yeah, anchor, stop filming. We've already nailed the tablet, don't just let it sink in. Zhao Qingxue curled her lips as she watched these barrage comments and chose to ignore them. Chapter 9 Friend, maybe you need some help. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Subsequently, the audience began to admire Zhao Qingxue's foot picking operation. In just a few seconds, a character in Zhao Qingxue's hand died directly. Cough, brothers, it was an accident just now. It's okay, I still have three characters. Believe me, I won't let any characters die next. However, a few seconds later, the characters manipulated by Zhao Qingxue turned gray, and now there are only two characters left. I, I can still resist. Zhao Qingxue's face was also a bit uneasy, but she still forcefully persevered. Wu 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 Wu, I can't beat it. I can't pass the level all at once. Looking at the last character left in her hand that could be operated, Zhao Qingxue's face turned sad and she decisively pressed the pause button. The barrage in the live broadcast room is also urging Zhao Qingxue to quickly withdraw and play again. No, I don't believe it. However, 
Zhao Qingxue still did not believe in this evil and continued to manipulate the last character to fight against Tualan to the end. A few seconds later, Zhao Qingxue watched as the challenge failed, and the few red characters left her silent. Good brothers, just now my demonstration was a mistake, the purpose was to prove to everyone that fighting like that is not acceptable. Next, I will use my actions to tell everyone that this time, I will not die for a character, but pass the level with one life. After speaking, Zhao Qingxue chose to continue the battle. However, the reality is that the audience looks at Zhao Qingxue's screen, repeatedly challenging and failing. At this moment, Zhao Qingxue's face had turned extremely black. If it weren't for the upcoming plot, she would probably have chosen to go offline and not play. Good brothers, I have lost nine times already. Now the next round, I will definitely pass the tenth round. Everyone must believe me. Zhao Qingxue drank a large glass of water, calmed her mood, and regained her composure, choosing to continue the battle. Ah Snow stop playing electric games, why don't we just stop playing? Yeah, Ah Shui won't do it. If it doesn't work, you can find your high playing friends and help you pass this level. The barrage was all trying to persuade Zhao Qingxue to stop making meaningless resistance. I don't. I don't. I just want to play. Zhao Qingxue directly chose to ignore these bullet comments and then continued to manipulate her character. One minute later, Zhao Qingxue watched as Tevelin consumed one tenth of her health. And when three of her team's characters died and the last character was left with only a few hundred drops of blood, she collapsed. I don't want to play anymore. I can't keep playing this game. Who designed this level? Zhao Qingxue looked at the screen with slightly red eyes, and her voice also had a hint of crying. Just as she was about to exit the game and think about downloading, suddenly a warm and familiar voice came from her computer. Friend, maybe you need some help from me, when Zhao Qingxue looked at Bai Zhe on the screen with a smile on her face and her hands behind her back, she smiled so hard that her gums were exposed. Ha ha ha. A's, A's, everyone, come and take a look, A's is here to help me. Zhao Qingxue laughed uncontrollably and frantically patted her thighs. On the screen, Bai Zhe extended his left hand and snapped his fingers. All the characters in the team were resurrected, and their health was reached to its maximum. They all had a pale golden shield that could withstand three injuries on their bodies. At the same time, it also increases the chance of an absolute critical strike and 30% movement speed for these characters. And, Bai Zhe also became a playable character and appeared in the team. Damn it, why did Bai Zhe suddenly appear in the team? This is not scientific. Yeah, the original anchor had already collapsed, but A's appearance immediately brought the anchor back to life with full health. The barrage in the live broadcast room also became densely packed, all discussing why Bai Zhe suddenly appeared in the team. At this moment, Zhao Qingxue, who was excited, didn't pay attention to these barrage. But instead, he excitedly clicked on the character of Bai Zhe, wanting to see his panel and news about elemental combat skills. However, Zhao Qingxue found that Bai Zhe's panel could not be moved at all, even without elemental combat skills. At present, only regular attacks can be used, which has made Zhao Qingxue feel a bit dissatisfied and deflated. But it only took a few seconds, after all, Bai Zhe had already appeared to help her. What other dissatisfaction did she have? So she prepared, manipulated Bai's, and prepared to attack Tualan. I saw Bai Zhe with one hand behind him, and his left hand took out a magic book. Every time Zhao Qingxue uses a regular attack, there are different elements that emerge from the magic book and attack Tualan. When these elements attacked Tualan, he not only did not roar or attack, but also silently endured the attack with his head down. Zhao Qingxue and the people in the live broadcast room, upon seeing this behind the scenes, were also somewhat puzzled and wondering what was going on. Anchor, why don't you switch to another role? Attack Tevelin and see. Seeing this barrage, Zhao Qingxue nodded and switched to other characters. 
and when she switched to other roles, Twalin's eyes turned red, her temper became irritable, and her attacks were much more fierce than before. With one claw, he fiercely attacked the character manipulated by Zhao Qingxue. Fortunately, when Bai Zhe first appeared, the condensed shield countered Twalin's attack. Seeing this scene, everyone's expressions became even more puzzled. So Zhao Qingxue switched over several other characters to see if there were any different changes. However, the results are all the same. After these characters came out, Twalin's attacks became extremely fierce. So, Zhao Qingxue changed the character she operated to Bai Zhe. When Bai Zhe appeared, Tuolin instantly became extremely gentle, obediently floating in the air with his head lowered. Ah! Three question marks appeared on everyone's heads. I don't understand. They don't understand. Everyone can't reason anymore. Why is Twalin so gentle when facing Bai Zhe, but so cruel when facing other characters? Just when everyone couldn't figure it out, Bai Zhe suddenly uttered another sentence. All right, friends it's time to end, after speaking, Bai Zhe waved to Tulin in the sky. When Tulin saw Bai Zhe waving, he obediently lay on the platform. Bai Zhe gently caressed Tuvalin's face, healing all the wounds and scars on Tuvalin's body. Subsequently, Bai Zhe smiled and watched as everyone bowed before Zhao Qingxue's screen showed the completion of the challenge. Seeing this scene, everyone's expressions looked very bewildered. At this point, they didn't even realize what had happened, and the dungeon ended like this. Chapter 10 What? Don't you still know about Shirazawa? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ah! In Zhao Qingxue's live broadcast room, all the bullet comments were marked with question marks. Everyone doesn't know what exactly happened. Why did Bai Zhe suddenly heal Tualin's injury? Then, directly calculate that Zhao Qingxue's trial has been completed. Not to mention others, even Zhao Qingxue herself appeared very confused. She had originally planned to rely on Azer to quickly defeat Tevelin. As a result, Bai Zhe didn't play according to the routine and directly counted her as the winner. Because many people have been recording screens in Zhao Qingxue's live broadcast room. So before and after the appearance of Shirazawa, they had already saved the complete recording. Some people also immediately went to editing software and edited the scenes of Zhao Qingxue being tortured by Tevelin and the scenes that appeared after Bai Zhe, and posted them online. In the pink software, Zhao Qingxue's edited video also directly made it to the hot viewing list. Many people are curious to click on this video, and when they click in to watch it, their expressions all appear very dull, as if they have seen something they shouldn't have seen. Some people also went directly to their favorite Ginchen Impact Anchors live broadcast and recommended the video to the anchor. Those Ginchen Impact Anchors, seeing many people talking about this video, were also curious to watch it. After reading it, their faces also showed extremely shocked expressions. They originally thought they were just going to watch a hilarious video of a relatively mediocre anchor trying out Tevlin. When they saw Bai Zhe appear, they were all dumbfounded. Who would have thought that after losing nine times to Tevlin, Bai Zhe would appear directly on the tenth attempt to help clear the level? So, even before following the anchor of the Tulin trial, they began to try and see if it was true. As long as it was the tenth time, Bayes would suddenly appear and help them. As expected, many anchors have tried it for the ninth time. In the tenth time, with only the last character left and only a few hundred drops of blood, Shirazawa appeared directly. Afterwards, their plot will also be the same as Zhao Qingxue. Only when Bai Zhe appears, Tulin will be quiet. After switching to other characters, Tualin would appear very angry. Then halfway through the battle, Tualin was directly cured by Bai Zhe, and their screen also displayed the four big characters of successful challenge. So, after experiencing the successful attempts of those anchors, they all went to leave comments and like under that video. Directly make that video become the number one hot watch. Now, anyone who clicks in to watch this video is also shocked. In this way, 
all those who were able to pass the Twalen trial also began to try this operation. So far, all platforms that like Genshin Impact have searched this video. In a fiercely discussed software, there was also a post about Baizay helping players pass the tool and trial. This post also went straight to the hot search. The famous game Genshin Impact. Have you been warmed by the white color? Below the comment section, there is even more frenzied dancing of demons. You can always believe in Baizay. As a disabled party member, Baizay's appearance directly exempted me from the torment of completing the level trial. I will always be A's dog. That's right, for someone like me who has no experience and only likes to watch the plot, it's really too much love. Xin A's, never lose. I didn't have much interest in Genshin Impact, but when Baizay appeared, I was deeply captured by his face. His warm words and warm smile from behind directly warmed up my menstrual cycle, making me very happy what? You don't like A's. Brothers, really, A's is such a perfect man. As an old man, I really like women. But the character by Zay really gives me a feeling of love. Family members, who understands? I really can't withstand it. Some manufacturers specializing in cost clothing saw by Zay in Genshin Impact. This figure was so popular that they hurriedly told their employees to make by Zay's cost clothing with three times of salary. After making it, there will be a bonus of several thousand yuan. Because these manufacturers can see that after Beza's cost clothing, it will definitely become popular. So using three times the salary to make the staff work overtime and stay up late to rush out is definitely not a loss. Those manufacturers around the animation industry also contacted the official website of Genshin Impact after seeing these posts. Request them to grant authorization to Baize. There's no way, Baize is really hot now. They must seize this opportunity to make money quickly. Those cozers are also searching online for clothing related to Shirazawa. But obviously, so far there hasn't been any. So, they had to first see if there were similar clothing and come to COS Bays to eat a wave of traffic in advance. Even if there is a 7.8 imaging, they can still eat this traffic. Just think of it as a preview before COS Shirazawa. First, hold on to the sense of anticipation, and then perfectly cosplay the White Zay Massacre. A famous male coser named Fong Fong Tian quickly searched around the house to see if there were similar clothing and wigs. After searching for a while, he finally found a wig and clothes that were five or six times similar. Before the cosplay, he first posted a message saying that he would be interested in cosplay with Bai Zay, making everyone look forward to meeting in two hours. After posting the update, he doesn't care what his fans think. He couldn't wait to cosplay. After cosplay, he looked at himself in the mirror with a strange expression. However, after finishing his cosplay, it was already time, so he still opened the live broadcast. His fans saw the following anchors and clicked on them after the start of the broadcast, wanting to see how Bays of Koss was really doing. And when they saw the white mist of the Fong Fong Tian Koss, they were all dumbfounded. I can't say it's the same, I can only say it doesn't seem to have any connection at all. It's like the extremely low.end version of Shirazawa. Fong Fong Tian said, Brothers, I'm really sorry. I did my best, but my outfit and wig only allowed me to play like this. After waiting for a while, I will definitely make a purchase immediately after Baize's clothes come out. Another serious wave of cosplay will definitely not disappoint everyone. Seeing Fong Fong Tian say this, the audience in the live broadcast room also stopped their campaign. Seeing this scene, Fong Fong Tian finally breathed a sigh of relief. He knew that his cos by Zay would definitely be punished. So as soon as he started broadcasting, he used an extremely humble attitude, otherwise he wouldn't know how to end it.